everyone welcome to my channel so i'm going to pull some cards for you guys and we're going to see what messages the universe has for you so let's just jump right in spirit what messages do you have for the collective what do they need to know about their person and their situation when i was pre-shuffling for you guys all right so you have new chapter um quickly i just wanted to say when i was pre-shuffling for you guys i sort of felt the energy because of the way the cards were coming out um someone is jealous of you and your person's connection okay um, so we have new chapter, a fresh start is always good for everyone. Doors are opening for this new phase within your love life. So some of you are going to have a new start with this person, or it may be someone totally new, but even if it's someone totally new, the way your cards were coming out during the pre-shuffle, I'm sort of picking up the energy like this person, it may be a new person that comes into your life, but they're not going to stay for long. Because you're going to wind up getting back with someone. It's like they're going to learn lessons about you or they're going to sort of have a chance to think about what this connection meant to them. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here for some of you guys. Spare, what messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know about their person and their situation? Yep, you're going to get some clarity. We have someone finally sees the answer that was always right in front of their eyes. Yeah, see, somebody is going to see, like, that you guys were meant to be together. But it's like, there's definitely some jealousy around you and your person. I feel like someone tried to talk your person out of being with you. And I feel like um, the person was jealous of how things were between the two of you. Maybe this person talked about you a lot or, you know, maybe said some things. And it made this person jealous of the connection. Now, it could be a family member, a friend. You know, it could be someone that they're dealing with. And I feel like they they may know that this person's in love with you instead of in love with them. Something like that. Okay. I don't know, but we're going to see. All right. So we have enchanted love, a sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. So you and this person have a sort of an unbreakable bond here. And I feel like this is what's going to be made clear to you and your person. We also have third party. There is something or someone that is affecting your relationship. It's time to address it. Yeah, okay. Like, seriously. Um, for some of you, it's your person's, like, friend or family member. And for others of you, it could be a third party. Like a baby mom or a wife or some, someone. There's someone in the middle of you guys' connection. It's like they don't want to see you guys happy. They know that your person has some strong feelings for you. That they can't break. It's like they can't leave you alone. But I feel like someone may be trying to get them to leave you alone. So we have secrets. Someone is holding back in this connection. Secrets undermine trust. It's better to lay it all out on the table than to keep it hidden until it's no longer can be kept quiet. Okay, so some of you guys may get into an argument with your person about something that they're keeping a secret about. Or this could be you. So take it how it resonates. Everybody's situation is going to be different. What messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? All right, so yeah, somebody's going to come back and give it a final shot with you. Something is not over between you and your person, even if you guys are separated right now. Um, you're broken up, you're not speaking, you don't know where you stand with this person, they don't know where they stand with you. Um, we have sometimes those feelings never go away. Someone has you on their mind, or maybe you are on, I'm sorry, maybe you are the one that has someone special on your mind, or both of you do. Both of you are thinking about each other. And then we have final shot. Now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if. And I feel like this is what someone don't want to lose out on. It's like they were listening to someone else about how to um, deal with the relationship. Yep, here we are. Can't make this shit up. We had look at the two cards that came out at the same damn time though. Reconciliation and I love you. Love is a powerful feeling. When we truly experience the actions of someone that truly loves us, it is magical. Um, and it really is because you know me, I always be like, I love love when it is right. But when it's wrong, it's like, get the hell on, <laughs> okay? But I feel like for some of you, this is right. It's just that it's going to take you guys some time to sort of figure it out because of other people coming in the middle of you guys connection we have reconciliation be open to someone returning and wanting to work things out with you i don't know why i feel like you're going to hear from this person um for some of you you're going to hear from this person on thanksgiving or like 
around that time frame because it's like they're going to miss you. They're going to be thinking about family and just being with you, being around you, talking to you or something. All right, this person may have some money issues because we have money and finance. Money is among the top five things that couples fight over or individuals stress about. Okay, so this person may have some unresolved issues with their finances if they're trying to get, you know, worked out here. And that may be holding them back from you a little bit as well. Being at odds. It seems that both of you are on different pages at the moment. A conversation, therapy, or time alone will be needed. Once that happens, things will be fixed between the two of you. All right, so you guys are at odds right now with somebody, but things are going to be worked out. And I feel like you don't see it coming or this person, neither one of you possibly see it coming. We have, there's a lot of chemistry here. There's too much chemistry. There's too much passion um, between the two of you to let something go. We have, there is undeniable chemistry between you and this person. Are you willing to explore it? Yeah, this person is thinking about a mischance with you. They don't want to um, experience that. We have, um, have you considered all your options? Did you give it everything? In the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. Oh, you guys got communication and happily ever after. It's nothing like finally having your happily ever after. You deserve it. True love doesn't only exist in fairy tales. It is here right now. And then we have communication, a conversation is on the horizon. Someone is planning to reach out. Be ready to express yourself. And we also have boundaries. Yeah, you were setting boundaries with someone. It's important to set boundaries with this person. Be mindful of what you will and will not tolerate. And then we have timing issues here. We also have breakup and ghosting. Someone may have ghosted you. And so you broke up with this person. Maybe you pulled away from them because they ghosted you because they didn't know what they want. They were listening to other people. You know, people were in their ear about some things. It's like... um yeah, someone is in your person's ear. Whoever this is, your person talks to them a lot about you. And it makes this person envy you guys' connection. So I feel like also this person is going to realize who their friends are. And it's possibly not this person that they're talking to about you. Um, and I feel like someone is going to be angry that your person chooses you over them. Now we have timing issues. Sometimes it can be the right person, but the wrong time. Timing is essential here. Be patient and see what unfolds during this season. And then we have breakup. Time apart is on the horizon. This may be short term. Okay. And then we have ghosting. The communication between you and someone seems non-existent. Don't allow this moment to taint your dating life with others. Um, all right, so this breakup card, time apart is on the horizon. This may be short term or long term. All right, so I feel like for some of you, you may not have talking, you may not have spoke to this person in like months or maybe a year or something like that. And then for others of you, it's going to be short term. So again, for everyone, it's going to be different. So, um, all right, let's jump into another deck here. But what I'm seeing so far, um, everybody is that there's somebody here that somebody was trying to talk them out of being with you okay and now this person is going to be realizing that they're not happy with the route that they're going and i see this person coming back around i'm sorry i'm just trying to fix my incense here as always <laughs> i see this person coming back around realizing that you are their happily ever after here or that you guys can make something work and they're willing to put the hard work in all right spare what messages do you have for the collectives yeah, they may wind up just leaving someone for you. We have just leave. It's not working out. A new relationship is entering your life who will be a reflection of your newfound authenticity. Like I said, for some of you, somebody new is going to come in. But I don't feel like this person is going to stick around because you're going to wind up giving some like this other person another chance. Um, I feel like the breakup between some of you is temporary. Somebody is going to catch your person talking to you or they're going to see some messages if they haven't already. We have found evidence on their phone. Someone said something caught in the act. And I feel like they're going to be trying to hang on to your person. But sort of knowing that your person's heart is with you and not them, whoever this person is. It's like they're going to be trying to, they're going to, be trying to hang on to, to them and pull them away from you. 
but it's not going to work though because their body may be there right with this other person but yeah look at that passionate thoughts thinking of each other again venting about you okay so they're definitely talking to you that card has came like that energy has come out in this reading so many times we also have moving look you cannot dish up did you guys put somebody out or someone moved out or they're going to be moving out from this other person because something is not working here. We also have friends know about it. Asking friends for advice. Friends interfering. Yeah, there are some friends. There are some people here that's interfering. Like big time. Some of you guys are hiding the pain that you have when it comes to this person. Okay, you may walk around with dark shades on all the time. I know I walk around with dark shades on all the time when like, I don't feel like being bad. <laughs> i don't know why i do that shit it's just so crazy but it's like i do i don't know what it is that's just some weird shit i do but anyway some of you guys may be walking around with dark shades on like not wanting to be bothered not wanting anyone to see you cry or see you upset you know or you just don't want to be bothered with people i know i do it that way all right so we have obsessed third party interference somebody is obsessed with your person they could have a child with them so this could be their baby mom or you may just have um giving birth to their child and it may be them trying to keep them away from you because you have a child with them but it's not over we have working it out knowing they fucked up we have angry and i'm just going to pull this one last card here and then we're going to jump into the tarot and it is i love you i love you more than i have ever found a way to say to you but you are angry with this person right now because of something that they did or said we have resentment and validated, mistreated, being triggered. We also have knowing they fucked up and working things out, a final effort to save the love, trying to rekindle the spark. Okay, so this person is feeling like they don't want things to be over between the two of you. They know they have a lot of work to do, um, you know, listening to other people, coming between you guys, like letting people get into their ear and say certain things that cause them to pull away from you. But I feel like someone's going to come back and want to fix that. All right, so let's pull some tarot. Oh, what's in the like confirmation? I forgot to um, turn the volume to my computer down. Sorry about that, guys. But that's confirmation right there, <laughs> okay? Communication is definitely coming in. All right, let me see what deck I want to use. Um, all right, I think I'll use this one. Sure, what messages do you have for the collectives? All right, for some of you, it's a Leo. And their birthday could be in August. I feel like this person is trying to have the strength to hold back. Uh, maybe you, they know that you're really mad and you don't want to talk to them. So this person may feel like you're going to reject them. And then we have the Empress. We have Taurus energy here. So you guys are getting two um, like major arcanas in the beginning of your reading. With the Empress here, we have motherhood, fertility, and beauty, love, unconditional support, and empathy and this is how this person sees you they may see you as someone that's like um they've never met anyone like you before so some of you are dealing with the Taurus, or this person sees you as top notch like they don't feel like they can ever replace you no one is going to um come close to who you are to them and what you've meant to them For some of you, you may be pregnant by this person or, again, just uh, just had a baby by them. We have judgment. Yeah, someone has made up their mind about you. Could be a Scorpio here. And the judgment curl is all about second chances. Look, I'm telling you, if you guys didn't see me shuffle, you probably would not even believe this shit. <laughs> Y'all got four major arcanas here. The magician, the judgment, the empress, and the strength card. So the universe is definitely, again, working on this connection and bringing you and somebody back together. It could be a Virgo or a Gemini for some of you. We have Scorpio energy here with the judgment, Taurus, and Leo. Okay. Someone may be trying to manifest you back in their lives without like saying something. And now uh, um, I feel like this person knows that that's not going to work. They're going to have to clear, um, clear. They're going to have to clear something up for you. Because you guys did have the clarity part in that other deck. Oh, and here's the communication. Do I need to go any further with you guys reading? Like seriously, eight of wands, fast movement, communication coming in, progress, setting changes, 
things happening all of a sudden just when you thought things was over and there was nothing else to become of this situation it's a rebirth and a resurrection with the judgment and the eight of wands here ace of pentacles and the seven of wands okay so i feel like some of you this could be about money as well so you may get love and money all in one shot at the ace of pentacles is new opportunities abundance prosperity like you're manifesting something that's going to be coming in for you really strong you're guarded right now with the seven of wands but you're going to wind up letting your guard down um because i'm telling you there's some good things coming your direction The King of Swords. Some of you are dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. This person can be very cold and serious sometimes. It's like they think instead of feel. So this person is always in their head. They're very logical. And um, I feel like they're going to come toward you. And this is going to be like the conversation is going to be very analytical. Um, you know, how they try to open up and talk to you about things. I feel like this is someone who knows that they have to step differently. You know what I mean? They can't come towards you like they did in the past because it's not going to work. Like, you're just not having it. Period. <laughs> you're like, I'm not having it. Like, you better come towards me different, bruh. Or sis, it's not going down if you don't. All right, so we have the emperor here. Aries and... What the... Okay, so some of you are married to this person. If you... Felt like you were going to get a divorce from your person because things weren't working out with the Empress and the Emperor. Mm -mm. You guys, um, I feel like you're going to wind up working something out here. Even if you're married, even if you're not, okay? But with the Empress and the Emperor, you guys belong together. So there's somebody here that belongs like with their person. I feel like some of you know it or your person knows it and they're just waiting. Yep, here's the reunion. Like, I don't even need to go any further here. And then we have the damn sun card coming out here. Double Leo energy here for some of you, okay? We have the three of swords reversed. So some of you are going to come out of pain and suffering. I feel like at first, though, with the two of swords, you're going to be in your head about it. Like, hmm, I don't know. Should I give this person another chance? They're always on some bullshit. <laughs> like, I'm not for it this time. And things like that but with the three of cups the sun yeah happiness rebirth love fulfillment the sun is the highest major arcana in the tarot okay and you guys got it in your reading so those are the messages that i have for you and i will see you guys in the next reading bye